This episode, I am working at Shane's place on his number three switchboard. Hopefully, we will be able to make a call through this. The back, I'm about probably 40% done with the wiring, at least in the lower section. Two shelves of iTech trunks that is made to work with that switchboard and some type of E&M carrier. Above it is an Adtran channel bank. Below are some toll stations that we hope to have working on this Rear trip. view of the iTech trunks. I have the top shelf wired. Now I gotta dress it up to look nice. The bottom shelf will be done next. The top shelf is completed. I've dressed up the wire. I have the second shelf wired. I need to dress up all of the wires so that they would look like this up here. A little bit more information. So we have four pairs of wire per card for this particular oper operation. We're using the white, blue, white, orange, or pair one, for the tip and ring to the switchboard jack. Then the white, orange, uh, an orange white for the sleeve and lamp and then to the uh, facility side the carrier the white green green white would be the tip one ring one and then the white brown brown white would be the E and M so we just repeat four pairs across the entire shelf of 10 cards so there's 40 pairs of wire for these 10 trunks final wiring of the top two shelves while working on the back of the three switchboard, some of the original cabling was very flat cloth covered cable. And then later on, they added some PVC cable that they also made very flat. This was for when you had large multiples, the cables would lay in better between the switchboards. One light and the paper has the eight clear and the rest of it is black. So this shows up very tiny if you're sitting in front of the switchboard. I stripped the jacket off a piece of this flat cable. It's kind of difficult to really get a good view of it, but this cable it looks like it's a 100 pair cable, but it's actually only a 40 pair, 22 gauge. But it's been flattened out, so after it was made, they ran it through a machine to flatten it out. I've only seen this done on cables for backs of switchboards. Back of the switchboard after I kind of dressed up some of the cables for my work project. What the jacks look like where the wires were soldered on the back of them. Control relays for each of the cord circuits and different parts of the number three switchboard. Bottom side of the key shelf. We have run into troubles elsewhere in the switchboard so uh, this will be it for this trip. We've had the Kakulograph running for at least 30 some hours and so far it's kept perfect time. Thanks for watching.